Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar then we'll through, run through the UK Met Office run have a look at the precipitation and temperature over the next five days starting out quite unsettled and a little bit warm but as we head towards this weekend it does look like it's going to be turning much drier and much warmer if not verging on some proper hot weather it could be our first proper hot weekend of the year. Now, we have had weekends where we've gone into the low 20s, but it's looking like widespread low 20s and potentially even quite a big area of mid 20s, 25, 26, or even, uh, or even a little bit higher than that uh, for the top temperatures, especially through Sunday. Um, so it's looking really quite nice towards this weekend. This heat wave side sort of pattern that we have been looking at uh, over the last week or so, is now coming into the shorter range and coming in perhaps the next five days or so. Now, it's going to be difficult whether we classify this as a heat wave or not. It's going to be warm. It's going to be hot for this time of year. Well, well above average. But heat wave classifications, perhaps quite not reaching that level. Because of, because of course, we are still in the middle of May. We haven't reached peak intensity um, of the sun. And our air, upper air asses are not as hot um, as they would be in June, July, August time. So perhaps it wouldn't quite reach heat wave, heat wave thresholds, but it's going to feel really quite nice. And we'll have a look at that in more detail in the mid-to-long range with the GFS, GM, Eastern UF and the Ensembles. Screw so remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. So do start on live radar, you can see a lot of precipitation around, not looking like we're going to be seeing any warm or hot weather any time soon. But this is what we're just going to be seeing over the next few days. We have westerly winds, a bit of a strengthening of the jet stream, with low pressure centred to our north. Now the low pressure isn't going to dominate, it's going to be close by, and we are going to have the jet stream over the top of us. So we're going to be seeing quite a lot of showers and weather fronts push in over the next few days like we have seen today. But as they progress eastwards and southwards, they're going to come up against the high pressure that we still have over Europe. That is going to uh, it's going to strengthen again this weekend and push up hot air from our south. Uh, uh, from our south, so um, it's not it, all this precipitation is going to fizzle out as it moves eastwards. It's much more organised earlier on in the day, but it is moving slowly southwards and eastwards. Still, will probably bring precipitation and thicker cloud further eastwards and southwards, but not quite with the same intensity we're seeing now over some of the higher ground through Scotland and northern England. It has taken quite a hit to the temperatures, as we'll see. You can see all the areas not seeing um, the rain. You can see for northeast England, through the Midlands, even to parts of West Midlands, northwest England, even though precipitation is pushing in, still warm there into some parts of Wales, southwest England, and widespread East Midlands, East Anglia, southeast England, central southern England, all getting up towards sort of 17, 18, 19 degrees. Some areas even get up, up towards 20 degrees. So a decent day, but it has been sunny, but cloud is filling in now um, with those weather fronts approaching. Even if these areas don't see that much precipitation, there is going to be thicker clouds. It's going to be a little, more, a little bit more gloomy through the, over the course of this evening. Um, as these precipitation bands do move in. But you can see behind the rain uh, through Ireland and Scotland um, and western parts of Wales, it is chilly um, down towards low teens, uh, feeling not great under, under precipitation, as, as it would do this time of year. Whenever we do see precipitation, it's going to hold those temperatures down. Um, you can see yellows for some, so indicating maybe 13, 14 degrees. But most areas got a little bit of blue tint there, so more likely towards that 10, 11, 12 degree mark. So we do have a look at the UK Mess Office run, look at precipitation and temperature over the next five days. You can see earlier this morning we had, had quite an organised band of precipitation move in, but you can see it is fragmenting over the course of this evening. And you can see it does progress eastwards with a bit of precip precipitation for northeast England, east Anglia, into the southeast for tomorrow morning. But it really does fizzle out, not too uh, much significant rain there, maybe a millimetre or two of precipitation. Behind that, we do see a lot of showers, predominantly in, in the north and west, closer to low pressure. Could be some heavier, thundery showers potentially within that for a Tuesday afternoon. But for, further south and eastwards, it's going to be fairly pleasant. Going to be another warm day getting into the high teens, low 20s. Through to Wednesday, more heavy showers pushing through. Some quite significant showers potentially there. And through Wednesday, we do see a little low pressure system run up from the south. Could give some heavy rain there through Wednesday afternoon. Does fizzle out as it does. 
Uh, but yeah, it could be some quite heavy rain there. And through Thursday, another batch of showers in from the north and west. So I said the next three or four days is going to be quite unsettled. Still reasonably warm. No massive cold air masses coming in. It's going to be a flat westerly. Um, but it's not going to be great in terms of dry weather. But through Friday afternoon, you see some thicker cloud in the north. And we do see some lighter rain. But in the south clearer skies and much drier weather and that spreads northwards through saturday with big high pressure taking control if we do have a look at the pressure patterns you can see uh through wednesday just a flat westy wind with low pressure center to our north you can just see ripples in the isobars and that's small little disturbances coming on bringing precipitation and enhanced rainfall within some showers but as we're to Friday and Saturday, you see those isobars start stretching out and they shift northwards. These bluer colours, which is lower pressure, you see these reds, 1022 millibars. That is higher pressure building up from the south, going to be giving us much warmer conditions towards the weekend. And you can see already the 850 HPA temperatures right to the end of the run, getting up towards 7, 8, 9 degrees in the south. And it's going to be spreading further northwards. We're going to widely be seeing that 10 degree ice firm through most of the country towards Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Now, if we do have a look at those two meter temperatures, they're not gonna quite spread all the way into the weekend, so we'll only be able to see Friday's temperatures. But you can see this afternoon temperatures comfortably getting up into the high teens, low 20s in those areas, escaping the rainfall elsewhere, as I said, more mid-teens to low teens. If we do look through to Tuesday, once again, this split with much cooler further north and west with precipitation in the form of showers, further south and eastwards, getting towards high teens, maybe 20 degrees, 21 in a few places. And similarly on Wednesday, but with more precipitation in the south, holding those temperatures down. Some areas seeing 20 degrees on Monday, Tuesday, only 13, 14 degrees perhaps through Wednesday. So Wednesday doesn't look like a particularly great day. It does look like there's going to be showers and rain around. Probably the best spot is probably the Midlands, Northern England, in between the heavier rain in the south and the showers in the north. If we head through to Thursday, you see those temperatures recover in the far southeast with less precipitation, but elsewhere still struggling in the mid-teens. But as we head through to Friday, you can see things turning a little bit warmer, that warmer air in our southeast, that high teens, low twenties region, spreading further north and westwards into parts of Ireland, seeing some yellow colours. And as we head into Saturday, you can see it's pretty chilly overnight with higher pressure. But as soon as that sun does come up and we head towards Saturday afternoon, we are going to be seeing those temperatures get up into the low 20s more widely. And Sunday could be the mid 20s. So if we do now have a look at the GFS run, what is going on over the next couple of weeks? Now you can see low pressure running in off the Atlantic at the moment. And that's bringing those weather fronts. And it's, we're going to see that flat westerly with a lot of ripples with heavy showers and precipitation coming in. However, as we head towards Saturday, you see big high pressure builds in and heads to our north. Isobars do tighten a little bit, but it brings up southerly winds. So that's actually the hottest air masses might not be arriving until sort of Monday, Tuesday time. But by that time, we could see low pressure influence, especially from the west and southwest. So although it could be technically hotter on Monday, Tuesday in terms of upper air temperatures, we could see more in the form of convective showers and thunderstorms mixing in, which could inadvertently cool the surface temperatures down a little bit so that's something we do need to keep an eye on as we head forward towards the middle of the week you see little low pressure system running in there off the atlantic and that could give enhanced precipitation and maybe some thunderstorms mixing with that hotter air we are getting towards day 10 now so it's becoming quite uncertain and beyond that we do see high pressure wind back out uh, and we generally do see higher pressure uh, but right towards the end of the run, we start to see a bit of a northerly wind, but I suspect that isn't uh, anything to be looking at um, too, uh, too strictly as it is so far out. Now, if we do have a look at the 850 HPA temperatures, now you can see cooler this week, around or slightly below average in terms of upper air temperatures. But as we head towards Saturday, you can see warmer air masses take over. By Sunday afternoon, that 10 degree ice firm is spreading in. And as I said, by Monday and Tuesday, the warmest days in terms of upper air temperatures, but more precipitation perhaps mixing in. Potentially getting that 15 degree ice firm close to central southern England. We do see a little bit cooler temperatures with that little low pressure system, but could be more heavy showers and storms with that. Before we see, do see warm air, air masses try and push up from the south, and right at the end of the one we go into a cool northerly wind. But again, I wouldn't look at that in too much detail because it's so far out. If we do run through to see when we see those hottest air masses come through, you can see the temperature deviation is a good 
four to six degrees above average widely, getting up towards eight to 10 degrees above average for some. Really quite hot indeed. Um, looking very good towards Saturday, Sunday, and potentially Monday, Tuesday, looking nice as well. Now, if we do just briefly switch over to uh, sort of three hour increments and run it back towards the weekend and just have a look at the two meter temperatures. Because, uh, of course, the UK Met Office run doesn't quite spread out to uh, Saturday and Sunday. So we'll just have a look at the GFS again. These will underdo the temperatures because it is a low resolution model to the UK Met Office run. Of course, it's high resolution than ensembles, but not quite as high resolution as the um, as the short range models. Um, so, again, it will over underdo these temperatures by a degree or two. So add a degree or two onto these for where you are. So we do run through to Saturday afternoon. You can see widespread high teens low 20s why the 18 19 20 degrees and i said add on those extra couple temperature uh, degrees for uh, this being low resolution widely temperatures 21 22 23 and you can see bullseye area toward the london southeast england in around 21 22 23 degrees on the model most likely will be 25 20 maybe 26 degrees in reality now it's going to be quite a mild night still um around sort of 9, 10 degrees, so not too cold, and by 9am on Sunday, temperatures already getting up towards 16, 17, 18, or 19 degrees, so pretty much some of the high temperatures of this week, and by Sunday afternoon, widespread mid-20s, getting up towards 21, 22, 23 degrees quite widely, and again, you add on a couple of degrees for it being a low-resolution model, we're going to be seeing temperatures in around that 25, 26, maybe 27 degree mark. So very, very warm indeed by Sunday. Now, as I said, by Monday, we still have very warm air masses, but perhaps slightly cooler because we have maybe showers and storms mixing in. Still 21, 22 degrees in the south, and again, a few degrees warmer. And by Tuesday, a similar story, but perhaps we're seeing even hotter temperatures by Tuesday. Maybe 23, 24, 25, 26 degrees. And again, that's without adding on those extra couple degrees for it being lower resolution. So it could be going into a very warm, if not potentially hot spell. Uh, first proper warm, hot weekend, potentially coming up this Saturday uh, and Sunday. And then, of course, coming into the following week. So we do now have a look at the EGM run, uh, see what that is showing. Now, uh, it's just updated, so we're getting this sort of straight off the press. Um, so if you look at the, uh, uh, the press chart, sorry. Low pressure running in over the next few days, high pressure building in towards the weekend, Saturday and Sunday looking really quite nice. As we head towards day 10, low pressure does run in, high pressure does try to hold on. It could squeeze up the ice bars more, bringing even hotter air up, but also could turn things unsettled further north and westwards. And in that division, and that sort of collision between the hot air and the unsettled conditions, could see big thunderstorms. So that is something we do need to keep an eye on. That is a recurring theme we're seeing here. Low pressure little low pressure systems running into this hot air, maybe undercutting it, little cut-off lows. Again, no consistency really with it, but it could be a recipe for big thunderstorms, perhaps in a week's or so time. So we do have a look at the upper air temperatures, you see really hot air coming in for, uh, especially Sunday into Monday. Saturday, still decent, uh, just not quite the upper air temperatures. So it's going to be very sunny and warm on Saturday, but not potentially um, giving those peak temperatures with those real warm air masses we could be seeing through Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Perhaps though, by Wednesday, a little cooler bit of air mass is coming in there before by Thursday, seeing another warm air mass return as that low pressure runs in. But again, could be a recipe for thunderstorms because again, you look at the United Kingdom, look, 15 degree ice firm just to our southeast across France and more towards one or two degrees or three degrees across Wales. And it's in that, it's that temperature contrast which will fuel showers and storms. Now, if you have a look at the ECM WF, just to finish the mid range, you can see again low pressure running in through over the next few days, high pressure building in, real warm southerly wind um, by the start of next week. But of course, high pressure is in control from Saturday and Sunday, and it will still be really warm on those days. Uh, again, look at those temperature deviations. Good for two to four, maybe six degrees above average on Saturday. And by Sunday, potentially get up towards six to eight degrees in the south and even hotter beyond that. Um, and again, look at those upper air temperatures. Real hot air mass just to our south. Uh, and again, low pressure is trying to run in if we look back at the pressure charts. Low pressure is trying to run in, but it doesn't quite make it on this ECM WF run. We hold on to that real warm, hot high pressure over the near continents. So it could be this sort of pattern where we see really warm conditions for a few days, and then we could see a major thunderstorm 
outbreak um, as that hot air does break down. So it is something you need to keep an eye on. Uh, definitely doesn't look like it's going warm, potentially hot. Thunderstorms, just potential at this stage, simply because we're not seeing really any consistency with how the low pressure um, does move in, uh, how far in it does get into the UK, and how it's going to interact with the hot air. So we do finish the video by having a look at the ensembles. Now, the GFS ensembles haven't fully updated. They've only gone out to around 11 days. But you can see, warm at the moment, turning more towards average as we see westerly winds come in. Some precipitation for London, but nothing too crazy. And then as we head into next week, real warm, hot conditions. Well above average. Five, six, seven degrees above average from pretty much all the ensemble members. There's a point here where no ensemble members are below the 1981-2010 mean. Really, really warm. Now, we do see some precipitation spikes, potentially in around 10 days' time, and that is potentially those low-pressure systems running into hot air, giving heavy, persistent bands of rain and thunderstorms. So that's the potential there. You see nothing crazy at this stage, but as I said, potential is there. Now, if we do look at the 2 meter temperatures and precipitation, you can see, as we're towards the weekend, getting up into the low 20s, again, a couple of degrees warmer, um, we factor in higher resolution models, and towards the start of next week, getting up towards 21, 22 degrees, more likely 24, 25 degrees at the surface. If we do run back and have a look at the 6 o'clock run, you can see, again, very, very warm in the longer term, and look at the 850 HP temperature and precipitation, continuing well above average, beyond this um warm hot spell that is pretty much guaranteed over the next uh towards the next 10 days beyond that it won't uncertainty does come back in it still looks well above average now if you do look at the ecm wf ensembles just to finish the video just see how they compare very similar warm at the moment totally much cooler over the next day but really only going to be impacting areas further north and westwards further south and eastwards might be a little bit chillier but still getting towards that high teens maybe 20 degree mark but as i said towards the weekend turning much much warmer by saturday we're slightly above our average by a couple degrees temperatures into the low 20s by sunday even warmer monday tuesday potentially very warm if not hot but thunderstorms could be starting to mix in by tuesday wednesday time next week and that is something we will continue to keep an eye on for the time being though it's looking unsettled over the next few days if you have got any plans this week Perhaps try and postpone them towards the weekend or maybe early part of next week when it is looking really warm and really dry, especially, fr uh, especially Friday in the south, Saturday, Sunday and Monday quite widely. Um, again, could be Tuesday, Wednesday time next week, could be very warm and dry, but it's just too far ahead to say with any certainty at this stage. But it is looking like we could be seeing the first proper warm weekend of the year. So anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again for another video soon.